Hi, this is Maria from Stop, Listen, Think. Today is June the 21st, 2012. I have to apologize to some of my old subscribers who are used to kind of seeing somewhat of the news with the weather and stuff, but uh, I've been kind of like on a nature kick here lately, so please hang on and bear with me through the next couple weeks, and I make any uh, apologies to those that uh, found my channel and was interested in other subjects but for now we're going <laughs> I'm going to do it on nature because there's so much of it around um, and it's interesting right now so the other day I was taping and I ran across a cecropia moth and um, they're not often seen because they're usually night flyers and they're attracted like any other moth to uh, light so um, she's basically only going to survive about two weeks. Her sole purpose is to come out and mate. She um, will hopefully find a mate, which I don't think this one will. Uh, I'm not sure because I don't think she survived the next day. And if she did, then I hope that she was able to lay her eggs, but I kind of sort of doubt since she had secreted her pheromones and um, I got that on video. It was kind of scary. At first, I think we were more scared of the moth than we were the snake that we captured on video, which I will get later on during the week out here to you guys. She, um, like I said, is a nighttime um, moth usually, so if you run into something like this, let me just say you will never forget it if you've never uh, ran into a moth like this. So she emerges from her cocoon and expands her wings. She will not live long. She'll live about two weeks um, because the adult cannot eat. So uh, her, her whole purpose is basically to mate and lay an egg. So hope you enjoy her and the way she looks. I measured her and she was about, her wingspan was about four inches, uh, six inches. So you get to see it against the measuring tape there. It is common in North America. She usually emerges from their cocoon during the first occurrence of hot, humid weather in late May or early June. Late at night, the female emits a scent of a pheromone that will attract the male moth. The male senses the pheromone with his delicate antennas. He is so attracted to her scent that he can find the female from a distance of a mile away. And then the mate pair, um, they will remain together throughout the following day. And then she'll lay more than a hundred eggs. They're usually placed in small groups and underneath the undersides of leaf, depending upon the weather. And it takes 7 to 14 days for the eggs to hatch. And the newly hatched caterpillars or larvas are black and approximately the size of a mosquito. The, um, sometimes the larva may have enemies that are from this newly hatched caterpillar and they usually fall victim to tiny spiders. Unlike some other moths, the um, Cecropia have so many enemies that they never become a pest. So it's a rare thing to see one of this large, I think. Um, this is my first time seeing it and like I said, it's something that you'll never forget kind of <clears throat> kind of reminded me of tarantula in the front because of the furry little legs but I hope you enjoy it and uh, we'll see you soon and just so that everybody knows we ended up taking her from that tree that was the apple tree it uh, it was uh, not as full as the walnut tree that I put her in so the wind gust was just so it was just so windy that uh, I don't think she had much strength so we ended up just taking her with the stick and putting her in the walnut tree where it was a lot more fuller and had more foliage so that she could uh, kind of protect herself from the wind so hopefully you know she was able to lay her eggs um, I won't know until probably next year or whenever have a good evening